da, 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 da. It's like Bond meets Dr. Watson. <laughs> Balance Unlimited. I get it. Hello fellow anime geeks and welcome to another video in my never-ending quest to try absolutely everything I can get my hands on. This is another high-budget video with a lot of cool storm sound effects in the background. No one's gonna believe that. Today I tried Fugo Keji and as usual I'm going to be organizing my thoughts by answering these four questions and hopefully by the end of this you'll determine if it's something worthwhile for you or not. This had one mal tag, mystery, but I would say that this is actually an action detective drama. Looks like there's a few novel adaptations this season and they're all panning out really well. The cool factor and chase sequences really reminded me of like a 007 type of thing, but the dual perspective and double protagonist idea also reminded me of Sherlock, which I think is a really cool thing to combine because that way the audience has a way of relating to one of the perspectives while still getting to experience the cool. This first episode revolved around a thrilling chase sequence while still setting up the premise very well. The millionaire detective with unlimited funds joins this overlooked department where it seems like they tend to throw the outcasts and ends up pairing up with a chastised detective who cares less about politics and more about serving actual justice. And our millionaire detective is going to use his bottomless funds to get away with things that normally the police would not be able to get away with. We also got very immediate and clear looks at our protagonist's personalities and character without giving everything away. I really want to know why he transferred into this department of outcasts and why he seemed to know our Watson character ahead of time and what happened to Watson in order to demote him. What is that backstory? It seems like Fugo Keji mixes a whole bunch of fun elements to create a unique take on the detective story. Sometimes it's fun if your protagonist is not relatable and your imagination can just run wild with all the things that you could do in this world if only insert dream here. In this case, what could you get away with if you had unlimited funds? I feel like our millionaire enforcer is kind of like Bruce Wayne in this respect. And this story also mixes in the relatable partner component and the action sequences so that the final product is just plain fun. I think it's pretty obvious that I find this anime worthwhile. It features one of my favorite voice actors as well. And as far as storytelling, I just couldn't find any deficiencies in this anime. I didn't really pay much attention to the art, but I know that the ending song and the intro song were both really cool. I fully expect that the pacing is going to drop off a bit after this first episode, but I don't think very much, so if you were hoping for a less action-packed and more cozy human drama detective story, then this might not be as cozy as we thought. It was also a lot funnier and more tongue-in-cheek than I was expecting. And on that point, I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not at all. oh, you have no idea, girl. Get the girl out. Get the girl out. What about him? What about him? <laughs> what the crap? Oh, boy.